Hey, hey, we're back. This is Bunny Flox. We're going to do a uh, Tool Tuesday, even though it's Wednesday. I'm just going to post this up and still call it a Tool Tuesday. Um, but the tool that I wanted to talk about real quick today, uh, hopefully this will be under five minutes, is uh, the NC utility or Netcat. Um, it's, it's basically a super simple Linux utility that at its basic core reads and writes data across network connections. Um, so, so basically, in, in pen testing, it's, it's mostly used for setting up listeners and catching reverse shells when you uh, pop a box or when you have the ability to upload a malicious file or code that can reach back to your machine. So it has other uh, uses, such as uh, connectivity testing, um, uploading and downloading files between systems, you know, building simple client-server connections. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, two real quick things with it. Uh, first, I wanted to show you the, the real simple connectivity, how it can uh, it can serve as a server server client model between two machines, and then I wanted to just show you how you can set up a listener, and if you have uh, you know you set up a listener, and if you are already already have access to a machine, how you can execute a file or a code or something to uh, pop a reverse shell back to your attacking machine. So I'm gonna do that really quick here I have my Kali Linux obviously and then I have another I have a Windows XP service pack 3 machine um, I already put two of my payloads here prior to the video but uh, to use netcat what you want to do is open up your terminal uh, we're going to do netcat and see and then the IP address here and then a port so let's see what port am I gonna do I do 5,000 and I'll come to the Windows machine open up command prompt command prompt and I already installed netcat on this uh, to my knowledge XP did not uh, have netcat installed but I'm just gonna set up a listener here so on this this is the, gonna be the listening system the listening port I'm gonna do NC tech L for listen mode and for IP address V excuse me V for 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 verbose and P for the port number that we're gonna listen on and if I come back here what I was doing 5000 so it's good to remember the port you're gonna use so now our Windows system is listening on 5000. So if you come back to Kali and execute this command here, you can see we are connected to my Kali from, we're connected to the XP from my Kali machine. And uh, as far as the server client model is real simple, um, you know, you can use this for messaging or this just basically shows, I'm just showing you the, how Netcat can transfer data to and fro. So, if I'm on here and I want to type a message, say uh, something simple, hello world, right? I jump back to my Kali machine and it's here. So that's the real quick client server model, how you can set up a listener and connect to a port, transfer messages, transfer files and things of that nature. Um, what I'm going to do now is let me get out of this. I have to close, close it on the listening machine. back to Kali clear this and now I'm going to set up a listener on Kali with the same it's basically the same command but I'm going to use a uh, 4445 I'm gonna listen here and I already have this payload uh, on XP I called it a reverse shell I'm gonna open this just run it as a normal user you don't have to be anybody special to run this uh, it's not gonna do anything it's, it's really a uh, MSF Venom payload that I created and if you don't know how to do that I'll probably do a video later about that but if I click run on this click OK run it as who I am let it execute and come back to my Kali machine you can see I'm now I now have a Windows command prompt here uh, and I am the user pen tester um, and that's that's the real real simple you know simple uh, example of the power of an NCAT or the NC command. 
Um, it just shows you really quick how to set up a listener and catch a shell or create a, a real quick client servo model. Uh, again, NCAT is used for many other things uh, in, pest test in pen testing. It's used to catch shells, uh, upload files, you know, basically send information over the network. Um, if you want to go to the man page, you can definitely read up more about that on your own time. But, uh, and that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe. I think that's all I have today, and uh, thank you for watching.